Welcome to the world of After the End. So this is a total conversion mod for Crusader Kings 3 that takes the mechanics that were built for CK3, which is a game that takes place in the old world um, from 867 to 1453, and ports it to this. Um, so this is this is the new world uh, in a post-apocalyptic universe. We're never really told in-game exactly what caused the end of the world, but you can create your own headcanon, and for that matter, a lot of the, the cultures themselves have created their own headcanon, um, because of course, that would be like a, a fundamentally important event, the event, um, whether or not knowledge of what precisely transpired is held around is totally irrelevant because the fact of the matter is that we, there was an industrial society here and now there are humans living in its bones rather than the the society itself so what that means of course is that there are some vestiges of the old world so like in manhattan for instance um there is the statue of liberty check out the bastion right um to 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 help defend Washington against northern raiders because that that's going to be happening too so it's not just the bones of the old world but also how the humans are using the bones of the old world and the way that they're using it is is twofold one they're using it utilitarian from a utilitarian perspective right they're using the, the infrastructure that's already been built that's where the cities are are going to basically hold on right um because people are already there and there's already buildings there even if they've been destroyed or partially destroyed by apocalypse doesn't matter humans got to live somewhere right more than the utilitarian side though the buildings themselves are also useful spiritually to the people who've survived this apocalypse right and so we see things like um the this we're, we're not going to focus too much on any individual part of the lore right now i'm going to do that in a different set of videos uh, but like this is an americanist faith these are people who literally worship the uh, the american presidents as being gods because of course there's physical objects of them all over the all over the place right in the uh in the base mod in the ck2 mod for instance they had a holy site out here yeah south dakota they have there it is mount rushmore and so you know things like that would help define um the nature of a, a a society's development after an apocalypse if you discovered in in medieval europe a mountain with the faces of humans carved into it you would lose your mind there's a lot of things where like the the flavors of the current or indigenous peoples to the area have re-emerged and so that's you know another another really interesting thing right who would be best adapted to survive in a post-apocalyptic world what sort of societal structures would be best adapted to survive in a post-apocalyptic world how would humans interact um and that's that's sort of what the the mod and the game answer for you or at least give you the tools to answer for you i think that the mechanics of the game are pretty fun um but i don't think Think that that's the real strength of the of ck3 and ck2 i think what they really are good for they are the they're some of the best storytelling sandboxes that you're gonna get um they're really incredible and so uh on that note this is we've we've played our playthrough as paul um and i think i'm gonna keep the this campaign going and i'm gonna i'm gonna play a what might be a really short one with duke joseph the impaler of cape fear and um joseph a, a humble honest shy elusive shadow torturer reclusive um is writing at insanely high stress level duke joseph is about to have a mental breakdown and become a serial killer inside of the holy columbian confederation um so that's gonna be that's gonna be the next ck3 uh campaign that we do so look look forward to that all right that's uh that's walker take care